Hey, this is Mitya from Soundbridge. Before we begin the tutorial, please take a moment to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you're notified every time we release a new video tutorial. Doing so really helps us out with the YouTube algorithm and we appreciate the support. With that said, let's continue with the video recap of our latest blog tutorial where I will show you how to use delay effect to manipulate the stereo width of your audio. Nowadays, stereo wideners are quite popular. Producers appear to like widening their mixes to enable a massively increased stereo image. This can sometimes lead to deformed stereo image where the side collapse and the center information is lost. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to use stereo delay effect to manipulate stereo width of your audio. As you can see from the project, I applied the stereo delay effect to the guitar riff channel to widen the stereo image. I panned the delay units hard left and right and set the short delay times. Following that, I used an additional filter to cut off the unwanted frequencies from the process signal before mixing it with the wet mix parameter shown above. Let's hear the difference before and after. And finally, the process guitar rift in the contents of the full mix. I hope you will find this technique interesting, and for a full blog article, please visit our website at sunbridge.io.